Oh, uh, there's Real Jacob, by the way. I don't know. I guess they were in the guest rooms as well. All right, so we're all together. What are you? What are we gonna do, Ikeda? You really have a plan? Well, first of all, I should explain our situation to all of you. I tell them what happened. However, I leave out, I leave out the part about Alex, and he mentioned the aura and any details about the basement. Judging from Nene what Neneko told me, the person who killed Thomas and Raven has been in the underground area before us. <clears throat> any guest who turns out to know more details about the underground area, then I tell them has to be the killer. Let's give us drink some water. <clears throat> <clears throat> I want to collect clues as uh, I want to clues. I want to collect clues as many clues. I think that's a typo. I want to collect as many clues as possible so that I can reveal their identity. Okay. This is turning into a horrible situation. I'm glad that everyone's safe, but right now we don't really know what might happen. You idiot! Because you still try to discover this island's secret, even though I told you not to. You're just a third-class detective. What are you gonna do now? Because of you two, they won't allow any of us to survive. Us two. So you're letting yourself off the hook? I'm very well known in the underworld. They won't try to harm me because they know how useful I will be for them. I can stay alive by negotiating. None of you will be able to do the same. You're as meaningful as flies to them. You'll be swatted without a second thought. Flies. You're even more disgusting than flies, Jacob Rutland. What is that supposed to mean, young lady? I don't remember even ever being insulted like that. Don't play dumb, you creep. I know you were coming here as a client of this island's prostitution operation. And you have proof of that? Making baseless accusations does not behoove you, Acura Edgeworth. Stop, both of you. We should not be arguing right now. What? Ikeda, are you taking his side? I like him. I wasn't expecting any less from a shady detective. He knows a way to make a profit when he sees it. I'll take that as a compliment. But Jacob... I don't consider your situation to be any different than ours. Just keep your big trap shut, man. You should cooperate with us if you want to stay alive. What did you say? How dare you talk to me like that? The time to negotiate with them has already ended. We should have noticed the changes in the mansion. They're already eliminating everyone on this island who could potentially become a witness. Eliminating witnesses. Jacob, you are wondering why there weren't many people in the mansion. You were referring to the prostitutes, right? Where did they all go? And not just them. The drivers who were hired, the janitor, the cook. Where could all the staff in this mansion have gone? Judging from the, all of the blood we saw on the ground, it's very likely that everyone who is supposed to be up here has already been killed down there. You, was that human blood after all? They were killed on the ground. That many employees? Don't be silly. If they had done that, the public would have known about this island. Preposterous. I think they were very calculating. The status quo of the island was finally thrown into disarray with the murder of Sir Raymond, and the unlock code that the killer of Sir Raymond and Thomas has could have caused the mansion staff to act so recklessly. But what kind of code is that? I can't imagine they would kill so many people just to get the unlock code in their hand. I have no idea, but it could be connected to the demon of Shironagusu Island. That's what has been researched on his island. For some reason, that's why that unlock code is important. Hmm. I'm trying to think when this was mentioned. I guess Abby mentioned it. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. It was Abby that mentioned something about an unlock code and how she wants the unlock code, even though we don't know it, right? Nedico herself doesn't know what she's talking about because she was looking for it. So we're going to assume the person that's been doing all the murdering wants the unlock code for some reason. But that's their objective, I guess. An unlock code? I wonder if it's a password or some kind of program. For example, the unlock code of a nuclear missile. Hey, must have been really important if it made them kill everyone. I don't know. But the unlock code the killer has is the only one reason we're still alive. Hmm. Or at least, well, I don't know. I, I I don't know who's murdering who at this point, right? But, but I guess the killer is the one... Okay, it's because Abby assumed that we were the killer. That's why she ambushed us. No, she assumed Neneko... And I assume also Neneko and... Um, and uh, why can't I read his name for something? Ikeda, it's right here. This <laughs> is Ikeda right here. Ikeda and Neneko, uh, Abby assumed they're the ones that killed Thomas and Sir Raymond, and that's why he was, she was trying to extract memories from uh, Ikeda and trying to like get the code from uh, uh, Neneko as well. So I assume Abby, maybe Vincent. 
I don't know. They seem to be acting on their own. But the killer, the people who actually killed the, the victims, we don't know who that is yet. We assume it's one of these people here. You know, one of the guesses. I don't know. But anyway, that code is our life insurance. If the killer hadn't had it, we would have been killed alongside the staff. Jacob, do you understand our situation now? Darn. So are they using a machine to extract information from our minds? A machine that can read memories from a brain. Does such a thing really exist? Yes, you won't be able to hide any secrets from that machine. They're gonna catch us connected to that device one by one. They'll kill you if they find out they don't need you. Well, isn't that just peachy? So one of us is the killer. He or she just come forward. If the killer doesn't cooperate, we'll all be killed. You won't be able to fight by yourself, right? Akira tries to appeal to the killer, but nobody speaks up. As I expected, nobody reacted. But what is the killer trying to achieve? Well, while they were trying to use the unlock code to bargain with the people from the mansion, they also killed Thomas and Sir Raymond. I don't know what exactly their goal is, but my guess would be that it is revenge. Revenge? Well, concerning the things that have happened on this island, there will be many people who carry a grudge. It will be futile, though. Even if they had their revenge, they would never make it off this island alive. They must be ready to accept that fate. I was just thinking about that children's book we saw earlier. Based on that, I say that their objective is definitely revenge. I don't think they were expecting to make it out of here alive, and were planning on killing everyone from the mansion. That strong determination is very obvious. But what would they do? No matter how skillful the killer is, they'll not be able to get out of here. The odds would be in their favor. Or do they have another card up their sleeve? So what are we going to do now? The ship won't be back for quite some time, if it comes back at all. That's our conundrum. If one of us is really the killer, we should stay together in one room and keep an eye on each other. This way, we can stay safe from the people of the mansion. And then, you know, the, I don't know. Again, this seems like a Among Us situation, basically. You've got to figure out who's sus, you know, and no, um, they can't do anything, even if they know who the killer is. It'll be a long, drawn-out siege, and fatigue will set in. That's especially the case when the other party consists of only a few people. There are more of us, so we should use that to our advantage. Ludicrous. Do you really expect me to stay in the same room as the person who killed Thomas and Sir Raymond? They will cut my head off when I'm sleeping. I think this plan sounds extremely dangerous. Yes, it sounds rather perilous. It still, it should make for some interesting engravings in our tombstones, Jacob. Why do you always mention that, Akira? I don't know why. Uh, Akira has managed to destroy the mood even further for his sarcastic comment. I was expecting Jacob would like this plan. If the killer is taking revenge for the past, then Jacob is likely the next target. Knowing he's in the same room as the killer must be terrifying for him. But I still think that staying together in the same room would be the best way to ensure our mutual survival. Even if the killer did attack Jacob, doing so would reveal their identity. The killer is bold, but they also want to keep their identity a secret. By gathering in one place, you can be sure that you won't get attacked, Jacob. You fool. You don't understand how they think. If we stay in one place and one of us is the killer, we will all be slaughtered like lambs. The best solution for me would be all of you to stay in the one place with the killer and don't leave the room. There's no need for me to be there. I have no part in this. I'll survive by myself. The rest of you can do as you please. Alright, and he leaves. Death flag, death flag, death flag, death flag, death flag. <laughs> because, like, it's obviously the guy that acts like a jerk and doesn't cooperate with anyone. He just dies next, doesn't he? Either that or he's the killer himself, but, you know, I don't know. Jacob shouts at us and leaves the room. <sighs> My plan will keep us alive. Jacob is free to do whatever he wants. See if I care. I hope he'll get killed in his own room. That'd be karma. So, what are we gonna do now? Are we just gonna stay in this room? Well, that'll be the safest thing to do. The demon of Shironagasu Island is also out there. With that thing also on the loose, being alone will be extremely dangerous. Um, can I go back to my room as well? Huh? W weren't, you, weren't you paying attention? I just said it's dangerous to be alone. I realize that, but the thought of being in the same room as the killer scares me. I would feel safer locking myself in my own room. Oh, well, I can't force you to stay here. But please call me if anything happens. I'll also let you know if anything happens over here. So you're just, you're just leaving like that? If that monster kills you? We haven't seen that creature, so you don't know how terrifying it is, Alex. I'll be careful. See ya. Alright, well. He's gone too. And now we're just stuck with the girls. 
Hmm, I don't understand this at all. Do you know what this means? This is exactly what the criminal wants. For us to be separated. Well, everyone has their own ideas and circumstances. Hey, I almost feel fat bad for asking, but can I go back to my room as well? Okay, never mind. No, everyone's leaving. <laughs> okay. What? I'm not saying that I will stay in my room. I just want to go back to gather some things. I'll come back here as soon as I'm ready. That'll be fine. But someone should go with you just in case. Well, if we're doing that, I'll let go back to my room as well. Okay, everyone's leaving. Bye. And thus, someone is going to die. This is a death flag for somebody. Someone's going to die when everyone splits up like this. <sighs> yeah, I like to go to my room. Just also wants to go back. Don't you just out? Yes, you're right. If you're going to be staying here, I would like to bring some things as well. In that case, would the two of you come with me? Considering the situation, going alone would be too scary. Well, let's just pray that we don't run into that creature. I probably won't be able to come here. The bridge has been blocked off. We'll go back to our rooms right away. Uh. Alright, see ya. Yeah, they've been last 30 seconds. I mean, technically, they're gonna come back, but, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But I feel like this is definitely an opportunity for the writer to be like, Hey, by the way, and someone's dead. Or, you know, it's like, oops. It's like very brief moment when everybody split up, someone dies. So, I mean, this is where like, if, if one of the guesses was a killer, this again would be an opportunity for them to like sneak away and then kill somebody. So, well, from what I've seen, I don't think that monster would have any problem getting here. Even the bridge is blocked off. It might be able to move along the wall, though. I think they would be all killed if they run into it. You could have said that before they left. It should be okay. At least that's what I like to believe. Nope. It's a prime situation for, like, Among Us-style, like, imposter-style. They're just gonna, like, stab someone, so... <laughs> to be honest, I actually wanted to be alone with you. I feel bad for taking advantage of this opportunity. What? What's this all about? What are you gonna do? Something perverted? Don't do it. I'll scream. Don't be such an idiot. It's not that type of game. Anyway, I want you to help me figure out who the killer could be. I'm worried about what the people from the mansion are up to. But I also can't overlook that there's a killer among us. Among us. Among us. Among us. Among us. I can't escape that word, by the way. Every murder mystery game I play, the word among us has been used. So, like, I can't escape it. It's a curse. Among us. Among us. Among us. Anyway, I'm not sure who the killer might be, so I want to pick your brain. The killer's motive. It certainly seems important, but... Hmm. I still haven't been able to hear Real and Alex's testimonies, so I can't really narrow down the list of suspects who might have murdered Thomas. Oh yeah, we haven't done that. I guess we, we did interrogate Alex a little bit, we, but we haven't got his, like, his full testimony. I couldn't really ask Alex for his testimony when, when we were underground. Yeah, well, right there. You can only make some educated guesses until you've heard from everyone. I guess that's all we can do for now. We need to think about it. Eek! Well, end of game. Of course. What? Eek, what was that scream just now? It sounded like a woman's scream. I definitely heard that. Darn, could something have happened again? Who would have thought? Not me. Nediko, stay in this room. You don't need to tell me that. You should stay here as well. I'm scared. We're all gonna die. Don't say that. Just scream if anything happens. If I hear you scream, I'll be back here pronto. Eek! Uh, good, good, but you have to scream even louder when it's real. See you in a bit. Eek! As soon as I step outside, I hear Nan a Nanako's scream coming from inside the room again. I think he's just trying to get my attention, so I just ignore her. Um, actually, I don't know, actually. I wonder if actually it is true that... She is in danger, maybe. I don't know. Because it could be like we close the door and suddenly the monster is behind the door, you know? But maybe, maybe not. Anyway, uh, the scream I just heard is more important, though. Where did it come from? Acker and the others went upstairs just a minute ago. Does that mean that the scream came from the second floor? I guess I should just take a look there first. Oh my, what's with that strange expression? Did anything happen? Are you alright? Did any of you scream? Scream? I didn't hear anything. Hmm, weird. Did you hear someone scream? I haven't heard any screaming either. I was in my room ju until just now. Perhaps I couldn't hear it inside there? I was in the hallway, but I didn't hear anything. Giselle's in her room. Maybe it was just the wind? It must have been the wind. No, uh, no, it was definitely a scream. Anyway, you should go back to your rooms and be careful. Something strange is happening. 
What do you mean? Are you trying to scare me? Whatever. I'll just stay in my room with yourself for now. I expect you to contact me once the coast is clear. I'll contact you as soon as I know what's happening. Be careful, Ikita. So it didn't come from the second floor, but only Nanako, Alex, and I were staying in the ground floor. But that was the scream of a woman. What could that mean? What's going on? Well, I think I know, but... No, wait. I should talk to Alex. He might be able to shine a light on this. Alex, open up! It's me, San Ikeda. I wanted to ask you about the scream I just heard around here. Hmm, that's weird. There's no response. Something happened here too? Darn, I guess I just let myself in. Please don't let there be another corpse inside. Hmm. Hey, Alex. Uh, I guess he's not here. I don't see him in the bedroom. Still, that scream was so loud that I could hear it in my room. Alex must have heard it too. I'm sure something happened. There's something strange about it. The scream of a woman that nobody else could hear. Could it be Aurora? Hmm, maybe. No, I shouldn't think about her for the time being. But I'm still confused about that. I'm gonna save the game because I'm so confused. In any case, where could Alex be? What's going on? His jacket and trousers are lying on the bed. Is he taking a bath? Hey, Alex, are you alright? I'm coming in. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Another shower scene, by the way. Not again. Uh, -huh. what the? <laughs> oh, uh, so you're fine after all. Uh, sorry to barge in all of a sudden. What are you... What are you looking at? What do you want? Get out! Sorry, my bad. I'll get your hair, but I need to ask you some questions whenever you have the time. Yes, alright, but get out of here first. Okay. Alright. Well, hopefully I don't get banned on YouTube. Does that count? Uh, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Well, whatever rocks his boat, <laughs> I, guess, I guess we're just assuming he's cross-dressing, by the way. <laughs> so, I guess that's that. Anyway, don't worry, he was just cross-dressing, don't worry, obviously, you know, it doesn't count because he was just cross-dressing, that's all, right? <laughs> whatever rocks his boat, but I don't think he wanted me to see him like that. I never would have thought Alex was into cross-dressing, but he appeared to be very nervous. I guess he hasn't told anyone? I guess I should impress him into talking about it. Um, Ikeda, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Can you wait for a minute? I want to talk about something. I don't think you... I don't think you are, and... Well, I... Well, and I don't think you are, but you're not having any weird thoughts right now. Huh? Weird? Uh, no, never mind. Should I tell him that I couldn't care less about things like that? I'm so anxious. Uh, sorry to have kept you waiting. Huh? Did you see it? My secret. Wait, he wants to talk about that? Um, what should I say? I don't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> uh, you look great! No, uh, I didn't see anything. Everybody has a secret. <laughs> I mean, I don't think this choice matters, but I guess I'll just say this. Uh, well, everyone has one or two skeletons in their closet. Huh? Well, I did try to keep this a secret, but I meet a lot of people just like you in my line of work. So don't worry about it. I see. It must be so hard for them. Selecting clothes. Uh, no idea. I don't know all the details, but it's probably not easy. Of course. When I went to a nice boutique to buy those kind of clothes, I was so nervous. I'm sure you were. I just like the way girls look, so... Oh yes, that's true. I also don't like wearing pants. I almost never wear them. What? Shouldn't you be wearing them? But why? It might not be illegal to... I don't think that's the case. I just wear what I want to wear. I don't mind, but as long as you don't go outside without any... Huh? I actually never wear them even when I'm outside. What? Is that so? I really don't think you should be doing that. I, I think this is... <laughs> I don't know. I, I, well, I guess we'll see. But... I think uh, Ikeda has the wrong... Uh, like, he has a misunderstanding. But anyway. I really don't think he should be doing that. He might even get arrested. <laughs> well, I don't know. Huh? I see. Well, I understand your situation. I also don't understand what difficulties you might be facing. Uh, feel free to ask me if you have any problems. Problems? Well, I certainly don't like to dress like a man. If I could, I'd wear a skirt all the time. But I certainly don't have any problems. Well, that's good to hear. Now, here's a free piece of advice. You'll be in trouble if you get caught by the police. Make sure to leave whenever things get rowdy, alright? Huh? What are you talking about? Why should I be- why would I be in trouble with the police? I've been thinking about this for a while now, but I don't think we're on the same page. Are you misunderstanding something? I don't think so. You say that you never wear panties even when you're outside, didn't you? So you have to avoid the police. What? 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 I didn't say that at all. Who told you that ridiculous lie? Pervert? What? 
You told me that you don't like wearing pants, so you don't even go outside without wearing any. You idiot, I said pants and trousers. I don't go outside without wearing panties. Uh, I don't- uh, uh, did you imagine that, you pervert? Uh, in countries in, like, Japan and England, people refer to underwear as pants, so I must understand what you meant. Is that true? It's a, a translation. Anyway. I'm relieved that, uh, to hear that you do you do wear underwear while cross-dressing. Cross-dressing? What are you talking about? I'm a girl! What? What? Okay. So yeah, okay. It wasn't like Alex cross-dressing. It was uh, the other way around, you know? Basically, uh, it was just her passing as a man. Kind of like Naoto from Persona 4, I guess, is the idea. Anyway. A little disappointing, to be honest, but anyway. You were wearing women's underwear, so I thought you... I wear women's underwear because I'm a girl. I have such a perfect- I have, I have such perfectly shaped boobs as well. How could you miss that, you idiot? I don't know, that's a strange line of dialogue. Anyway, perfect boobs. Uh, duh. Well, alright, I'll, I'll call them perfect, but take a close look. I do have breasts, don't I? I'm a girl, you know. Huh. Honestly, I'm not sure I can tell. You're very androgynous. You can never tell these days, you know, when you're drawn in like a bishi way. Bishonen, bishoujo, it looks the same. You- um, yes, those certainly are breasts. So you'll go this whole time. To be honest, I still don't know if she really has breasts or not. They're not exactly eye-popping. <laughs> I, I must uh, not say those words out loud because I'd be dead if I did. I wanted to tell you I was a girl from the beginning, but how could you misunderstand that, Ikeda? You're the worst detective I've ever met. And don't harass me now that you know I'm a girl. I don't say stupid things. Anyway, I'm sorry for not realizing you were a female. My apologies. I will accept your apologies, but... Really, don't come near me. Not closer than two meters. I'll scream if you do. That seems to be, a, again, a pattern <laughs> in this game. It's just like assuming that Ikita is a creep, which I... I don't know. I mean, he kind of is, but... <laughs> and just like... Joking about sexual assault, but anyway... Alright, whatever. Well, now that you mentioned it, I heard a scream a little while ago. Oh yes, I completely forgot about that. Uh, well, that was me screaming. A creature appeared outside my window when I was taking a shower. A creature? The demon of Shironagasu Island. That might have been it. It looked like the one in the painting. It didn't look like a natural creature. Though well, to be honest, I still don't know what that thing is yet. Uh, for now, it's, it's likely uh, humanoid biological weapons which have been researched at this mansion. Humanoid biological weapons? Do they exist? You have to see it to believe it. But you saw it with your own eyes, didn't you? Um, I did see it, but well, I almost couldn't believe my eyes. I wasn't sure it was real. It wouldn't. It, well, it would be safer for all of us to stay together from now on. Looks like be, being by yourself is dangerous after all. Yes, you're right. Having seen that, I don't want to be alone. By the way, Alex, I'd like to ask you some questions. Your answers may affect our future. Huh? Sure, anything I can do to help. All right. There you go. Well, oh, awkward there. Can you just? Gender bender, alright, so gender bender. I don't know, I mean, maybe it's just my taste, but like, a girl pretending to be a man? It's kind of, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a cliche to me. Ironically, the other way around, I find more interesting, but, you know, maybe I'm just a hypocrite. Anyway, about pretending to be a man, though. So, you came to this island pretending to be a man. Why, you, why did you do that? I hid the fact that I was going to this island for my family. Because I often went to social gatherings, I was afraid they would become suspicious if I used my real name and didn't disguise myself. So you changed your name and appearance. So what's your real name? Lily Al Alexandria Werner. Ah, you see, Lily. Your middle name is Alexandria, so that's where Alex came from, right? Only my relatives know my middle name. I was afraid I'd be found out if I chose an entirely new name, so I went with Alex. My grandmother used to call me that. I'll keep your real name secret. I'll continue to call you Alex, at least until we get off this island. Thank you, I appreciate that. But you can call, continue to call me Alex if we, even if we escape. Alright, Alex. Alright. But you played the part of the man really well. It's weird to be complimented like that. But I'm glad I pretended to be a man. Actually, I met Akira a couple times before. That was quite some time ago and she doesn't seem to remember, remember it right now. And that was a close call then. If Akira notices that you're a woman, your cover will be blown. That's why I don't want to talk too much to her. If she asks us too many questions, she might realize who I really am. That's why I didn't stay in your room and came back here. I didn't want to be around her. You know, didn't want to be around her. 
compared to me being around a killer i don't know man i feel like these people are having their priorities all mixed up but anyway it certainly would be risky if you were to spend a lot of time in the room together she might have noticed something about you if she saw me like you did earlier my life would be over but i didn't expect to be spied on in my own room though uh, no wait a minute i didn't mean to spy on you don't get angry it wasn't on purpose totally but it's true or rather it's but it's true i can't trust a shady detective like you Hey, why are you being so hostile to me? My reputation might not be so sparkly clean, but that can't make you hate me that much. Is there any particular reason? There's no particular reason, but I read bad things about you in the newspapers. Alex, do you really believe those lies? You've seen what I did, right? What you did was spying on me. Hmm, it looks like I'll hit a nerve. I guess I don't think you're as bad as the newspapers make you out to be, but I'm still keeping my eye on you. Well, I'll just have to gain your trust then. All right. I don't want to talk about that anymore. All right, okay. How about Thomas's murder? Alex, can you tell me what you were doing before Thomas was murdered? Before Thomas was murdered? Well, let's see. Abby the maid told me that the meal was ready, so I just went to the dining hall. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? For example, were the iron doors of the bridge open or closed? Can you remember? The iron doors? Hmm. I remember... I, I believe they were closed. I remember that the wheels were so heavy that my fingers hurt. I see, so they were closed. Did you stop anywhere else on your way here? Or on your way there, rather? I didn't. I went straight to the dining hall. Hmm, you entered the dining hall after Giselle, didn't you? I think so. I recall that Akira and Giselle had arrived before me. Did you notice anything else? Like something unusual in the corridor or on the bridge. Something like an incendiary device or a device that you didn't recognize. An incendiary device? No. I don't recall there being anything like that in particular. That corridor and the bridge were exactly the same as before. Oh, but the bridge was still very wet. So wet that I was afraid I might slip. Hmm, nothing unusual, huh? In other words, if the killer planted any devices there, it was after Alex has gone, had gone to the dining hall. Was that helpful in any way? Yes, it was. Hmm. The more information I get, the further the mystery deepens. No, I'm sure one of the guesses is lying. If I pursue my investigation, I'll definitely uncover the truth. I also want to know more about what happened after Thomas's body was found. Even small details matter. When Thomas's body was found, you're talking about the murder on the bridge, right? I remember that Akira and Giselle left the dining room first, so I thought it would be better if I wait for a little before returning to my room. I didn't want to run into Akira, so I left the hall of Rio with J after Jacob. That was when I found out about the murder. That's all I remember. Did you sense anything strange, no matter how trivial? Hmm. I was quite upset at the time, so I'll probably have overlooked anything unusual. But come to think of it, you told me to look after Neniko, so I was with her the entire time. Hmm. How was Neniko doing at the time? Her face was pale, her long black hair was very messy, and she smelled a little bad. She was like a <laughs> de de debilitated animal. I couldn't hear it well, but she was talking something in a delirium. I see. Alex doesn't miss words. Do all billionaires behave the same way? <laughs> yeah, those darn billionaires. Come to think of it, someone told me that the stone bridge was warm at the time. Did you notice anything? The stone bridge? Uh, come to think of it, it certainly was. I felt it when I was looking at, after Neniko. But it was only for a moment. Besides, everything was so confusing, so I thought I'd just imagine it. So the bridge was warm after all. There has to be a reason for that. Does, it, does that have anything to do with Thomas's murder? I don't know right now. But I, think it's, I don't think it's just a coincidence. There has to be a reason for it. If one of the guesses is the killer, then who could it be? Hmm. Well, can you tell me exactly what happened when you saw the demon of Shironagasu Island? Uh, that thing. My knees are so shaking. When I was taking a shower. Hey, no funny thoughts, you hear? I, I wasn't having any, you were saying? Uh, while I was taking a shower, I looked out of the window. It was so dark that I could hardly see anything outside, except for the moonlight reflected off the rolling waves. Suddenly, that creature appeared in front of me. It was upside down, too like a lizard sticking to the window, and those big eyes stared at me. That's when I screamed. I immediately crawled, crawled out of the bathroom. After a while, I decided to peek into the bathroom, and the monster was gone. When I finally calmed down, I thought I could have been imagining things, but it was so real. As I was thinking about what to do, what to do a peeping Tom appeared. Again, that just seems to be a, a, a theme in this game. I don't know why we have to be put in this rom-com, etchy situations, you know. Well, it just doesn't really fit the tone of this entire story. But you just, you just have to, I guess. 
Uh, anyway, a uh, peeping Tom. Who could have that been? Who could have that been with? Are you serious? Uh, what? No sense of humor? Hmm. <laughs> I should tone down my sense of humor. She might kill me otherwise. Pervert. No one has ever seen me anywhere except you. No big deal. Not the end of the world. Is what I shouldn't say out loud. Otherwise, it'd be a third murder. It... Well, anyway, that was when I saw the creature. Oh, that was very helpful. Any more? Whatever that means, that monster is still somewhere around this building. Y you gotta gotta have a peeping tom in the murder mystery, like Don Europa. I'm trying to think. I mean, I guess yeah. There was like one scene. It's kind of Easter egg though. You know, it's like you only do it once, and it was optional, or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's a thing. It's like an anime thing. I don't know why, but it's like, well, I do know why because the 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 um, it's like tradition, right? It's like a lot of like uh games, right? Made in Japan, especially like technically indie games, right? They're, they're called doujins, I guess. Doujin games definitely were made. Uh, in a way so that it can market the characters and what way to market the characters just uh, just marketed like horny uh, nerds I guess right so that's how they would like sell their games uh, but sometimes those games would have like cool stories but in order for it to sell you know you had to like have some kind of hook right and that's always usually like just sometimes straight up porn or just fan service and you know that this game I feel like is kind of old school like that they're keeping up that tradition, I guess. You know? I'm trying to... I think this game came out... I, I did a little bit of research, though. I think this game came out in 2019, though, originally. Um, and then it was translated in 2020. So it did come out pretty recently. But it has kind of like an old school feeling kind of, kind of vibe to it. I don't know. Uh, but anyway. Uh, don't say that. I can't even imagine. Neneko also said that she saw the demon shoot Nagasu Island out of the window of her room. It hasn't touched any of us, though. So what does it want? Does it just run around scaring people? It behaves as if it's looking for something. Looking for something? I'm not sure, but it's possible. Perhaps it received an order to find a target, then liquidate that person. Again, that word liquidate. Is that, is that a trans... I don't know if that's a translation error, but that's a strange way to say it, right? Liquidate? I don't know, man. Liquidate. Do you mean that's trying to kill someone? It's dangerous. Oh, calm down, it's only a guess. But I think there's a purpose behind its behavior. We should gather in one place and prepare for the worst, like you said. I'm really scared. You're right. You want to talk about that again? I'd rather not. Oh no, I'm not going to talk about that again. However, the bigger picture is gradually becoming clearer, as I've been able to gather a lot of information already. When you find out who killed Thomas and Sir Raymond, what are you going to do? To be honest, I haven't decided yet. But under these circumstances, I'll have to ask for their help. I don't know if they'll cooperate with us, though. As Jacob said, the killer might not listen to reason. I just hope we don't all get killed. Yes, hopefully the killing spree is already ended. Anyway, have you decided what we can do next? I'll change my mail clothes and head to your room. I'm a bit nervous being around Akira, but... In that case, I'll go back to my room now. I'm also a little bit worried about Neneko. Will you be alright by yourself for a short while? I'm only changing my clothes, so I guess I'll be fine. I'll head out as soon as I'm ready. Well, just let me know if anything goes wrong. Scream like you did earlier and I'll run to you. I should be able to hear your voice. Sheesh, thanks, but I'll be fine. Well, come to think of it, yes? Earlier, after we were shown to our rooms, I tried to talk to you, didn't I? Oh yeah, I believe you did. What was that about? Actually, shortly after I was shown to my room, I heard some kind of moaning coming from the hallway. It was so quiet that I thought I was imagining things. So I tried to ask you about it. Right, I couldn't talk to you at the time because of a really stupid emergency. Um, trying to remember. Did that happen? I don't remember, but... Maybe. I mean, they're saying it happened, so... Very quiet moans, huh? To tell you the truth, I also heard something like that. A moaning so quiet that I thought I imagined it. Could this be connected to the murder? Maybe. I'll try to figure out what was th what that was. If you remember anything else, please let me know. Yes, alright. By the way, I don't know if I should ask you this, but is dressing like a man difficult? Well, it certainly takes a lot of time. I put shoulder pads in my jacket to make it look like a... to make me look like a man as much as possible. I also have to act like one. I see. It certainly appears to be a hassle. Especially you have to flatten your chest as much as possible or people find out that you're a girl. That must be hard, right? Hmm. Huh? Alex appears to be upset. Did I say something wrong? No, I don't think I did. I didn't have to do anything about my chest. What? No, you're kidding. If you don't flatten your chest, people find out that you're a girl. I bet you have to have some tricks up your sleeve, am I right? 
what? I didn't do anything at all to my chest, but nobody noticed anything. <laughs> this shady detective really says interesting things. You don't say. Is Alex that flat chested? To be honest, I didn't think her breasts were that large in the first place, so she could pretend to be a man without having to do about anything about her chest. Oops, oh boy, this is a bad hee hee ha ha. <laughs> Get out, scumbag detective. Get out. All right, whatever. I don't know. You know, when I was younger, maybe I would have found these kind of scenes kind of funny. But like, once you see like a hundred of them, thousands of them, it's like, I don't know. It's just cliche to me. I don't find it very funny all that much anymore. But whatever. It's like, I'm just going to like ignore it. But anyway, uh, ouch, I'm forced out with a strong push. Guess I had that coming because I have to act like a hee hee like dumb pervert protagonist, I guess, that keeps accidentally being put into, like, perverted situations. Hee <laughs> hee. Even though there's, like, a murder mystery, people are dying. <laughs> you know, it's like, again, the tone is weird. Kind of like a tone of whiplash, but whatever. Yeah, again, it's for the sake of anime. It's, I don't know. I say anime. I mean, anime, there's, there's, there's different genres. There's definitely variations. Or, not variations. There's a little variety, rather, of different anime. When you say anime, you know, it doesn't mean, like, all anime, but a very particular kind of anime, I guess. You know, like, like a lot of popular... Anime meant to be sold, you know, again. It's, it's, it's this weird relationship, actually, you know? Probably someone is, uh, someone's done an essay about this, you know? How, like, capitalism, you know, and anime waifus are actually quite interlinked, actually, you know? Because they gotta sell the game, right? And that's why they make the anime girls as uh, bishi, I guess, as much as they can to sell the product. And that kind of f forces kind of this weird situation where they, you know, add fan service scenes like this, right? But anyway, I've gone on too long about that. I should stop complaining about it. Anyway, uh, yeah, but I guess I had that coming. They say that being a woman is not easy. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I found out what that scream was and heard Alex's testimony. I should hurry up and return to my room. Otherwise, Netico is going to die of shock. It's me. I saw the mystery of the scream. Are you alright? Coming in. And then we open up the door and see a corpse. Hmm? Where's Nedeko? Nedeko, are you hiding? I'm here. Oh, okay. Oh, she is fine. All right. I, it was funny. I, I would have thought like maybe it was a real scream that she got. Maybe not killed. I mean, she wouldn't get killed so easily, right? But, I don't know. Something happened. But I guess not. What? Why are you in such a cramped space? Ikuda, you sure took your sweet time. You gotta be kidding me. I was just beginning to think about good ways to kill you. I know I took my time. Don't be so angry. I had no choice. Taking you with me would have been much more dangerous. What if I was killed in this room? Well, I'll complain about that later. So, what was that scream? Uh, that scream... Well, that was just my imagination. What? That's not true. I heard it too. You said so yourself. Well, let's just pretend that that's all it was for now. The scream itself has nothing to do with our current situation. It wasn't a big deal either. So, just forget about it now, for now. It would have been a cool death? It would be a surprising death, really. I, again, I don't imagine her to be to die so easily. She's like the main character, right? Well, I mean, we're the protagonist, but like, definitely, again, she's like the mascot. You know, she's the girl that shows up on the cover of the game, right? So I don't think she would die so easily, except maybe at the very end. Or, well, I mean, she did die technically at the dead ending, but obviously that's not canon. Anyway. I won't be able to understand why unless you let me know what happened. I guess I've promised that. I'll tell you about it when we get off the island safely, all right? I don't like this one bit. Well, as long as it wasn't anything important, but still. Did anything strange happen in here? For instance, something strange appearing outside. I didn't see anything like that. I've been here for a long time, and I've only been looking at the ground. I wouldn't know if there's anything strange. Anyway, don't talk about such scary things. I mean, you know, you better be start believing in ghost stories because you're living in it. Or something. What was that line from that Pirates of the Caribbean movie? You better believe in ghost stories because you're... You're in one, I guess. Or anyway. Because, I mean, we are. We're literally in one. We're in, like, a monster, like, horror story. But anyway. I guess it's okay to rest for a bit, for now. But I better be on my guard. Alex saw the creature, after all. I wonder if Akira and the others are alright. If someone was screaming on the second floor, I wouldn't be able to hear them from here. Eh. Oh, the phone. It's probably Akira. Ikuda speaking. Judging from the steadiness of your voice, you have managed to calm down after your earlier misadventures. Okay, again, okay, this is the... Well, what's the cold name again? 
Um, it's um, I can't remember now. But it's the it's the person the the story the voice you know the heavily distorted voice. This can only be one person. Is that you, wizard? Oh yeah, wizards. That's just wizards of the coast. Anyway, wizards. I was waiting for you to call again. I would like to suggest an exchange of information. I want to know about everything that happened on the ground, not just the vague details you gave the others. Tell me, and I'll give you some useful information in return. Darn, what useful information? Wizards won't reveal their identity, but I have an idea who they might be. I'll just have to flush them out myself. I assume they're one of the guests, or maybe... Well, I guess we'll see. I have, I, I, you know, I have some ideas of who wizards might be, but, uh... You know, I I shouldn't have guessed so early. We'll see, I guess. I pressed the mute button on the phone. Ah! Hey, why do you shout out us? Uh, why do you shout out of the blue? You idiot, why are you giving me a heart attack? You should be quiet. Don't make a sound. Once Neneko has finished her little tantrum, I unmute the phone. Wizards may have noticed that the audio was muted, but they probably won't know what I just did. I'm sure I couldn't hear my voice from the phone. Hey, wizards, let's stop playing games. I can't trust you if you continue to hide your identity like this. The way things are going, we're all gonna, uh, we're all gonna become fish food, literally. Also, why, what did Ikeda, Ikeda do just now? I'm not sure what he just did. He just muted the phone, he screamed, Neneko got scared, and... Oh, okay, I, I think what he's trying to do, okay, I, I, could, I didn't understand the time, but he was, he was talking to Neneko, basically telling her to, like, be quiet, basically, I guess. So she doesn't make any sound, so she's, he's hiding Neneko from him or something, or... I'm not sure, anyway. Or I say him. Wiz Wizards could be a, a, a man or a woman, I guess, because the voice is going through a filter. But uh, hey, Wizards, let's stop playing games. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna become fish food. I accidentally press space so after I look at my log, so therefore it defaults to pressing save. Anyway, as I said before, our relationship is only mutually beneficial when our interests co coincide. I will not become more involved than I have to. You're quite obstinate. Maybe I should just reveal your identity. Are you threatening me? Are you saying that you refuse to cooperate with me? I didn't say I wouldn't cooperate with you. I'm just saying I don't want to have a one-sided relationship. Trust is built on an equal footing. I don't think our current relationship is very healthy. Here's what I believe. And it concerns you as well. If my identity is revealed, something bad will definitely happen to you. And of course to that sweet girl as well. Well, well, it appears that we're in an impasse. My answer won't change, wizards. I'll reveal, I'll reveal your identity. I will be the one making your, our next phone call. This is my final warning. Do not attempt to reveal my identity. So selfish. Alright, I guess we're not playing along this time. Looks like I will need to take care of this issue first. Neneko, I want to find out who Wizards is. Time to use your abilities. I don't know. Should we do that? They must have their reasons for not revealing their identity. An undercover investigator, a killer, a mysterious monster, what the people from the mansion are trying to do. Everything is unclear. I have to at least uncover something. I have to solve those mysteries one by one. For starters, I want to know who Wizards is. I'm sure they left some clues. We just have to use those to discover their identity. Clues. Were there any? First, let's take a look at this. Okay, here's our su suspect list. <laughs> Including Aurora, by the way. Is this a list of suspects? But why are there so many names on it? Why am I also on here? I'm um, beginning by narrowing down the suspects from scratch is an ironclad rule. In fact, I've had several cases where someone least expected was the culprit. In that case, I don't mind being on the list, but you also include yourself, Thomas, who's dead by the way, and even Aurora, who doesn't even exist. Or well, any possibility is worth considering, no matter how absurd it may be. Alright, so who do you think Wizard is? I've narrowed it down to quite a few people, but I still don't have anything conclusive. Hmm. I wonder if we need to actually... Well, I'll just save it here. I, I wonder if we actually need to figure it out ourselves as a player. That's why I saved there, but I guess we'll see. They have, they have covered their tracks well. Hmm. Considering the points in time when wizards contacted you, several people can be excluded. And also, why do you suddenly scream so loudly? I wanted to see if I could hear my voice on the other side of the line. Oh, okay, okay that's why he did that, alright. So, did you hear anything? Strangely, I cannot hear my voice on the other side. I see. This will narrow down the list of suspects. However, it is indecisive. Also, what does the wizards mean in the first place? Perhaps it doesn't mean anything in particular. It could just be a code name. 
No. I heard them pause briefly when I asked them to give me a call sign. I think they probably came up with that in the spur of the moment. In other words, the name Wizard is not their regular code name. And how did they come up with their name? You know, they just looked around, I guess. Uh, wizards as in sorcerer. But isn't it kind of weird that the name is plural? Wizards, not wizard. Neniko, does wizards ring a bell? Um, well, top level hackers are referred to as wizards. Are they? They're also an NBA team called the Washington Wizards. Also, it's not exactly in the same, not exactly the same word, but there's also a Wither Hills mountain range in New Zealand. Uh, there's also a brand of white wine called Wither Hills. A wine brand. Is it a well-known brand? No, it's not very popular. It's not expensive either, it's just a regular wine brand. Wither Hills. They must have thought of something and then came up with wizards. Perhaps they unconsciously used words of things of, or places close to them. Is that an important clue for uncovering their identity? So, what's the name based on? Sorcerers, hackers, wine, the NBA? No, wait, maybe. Hmm, do you know who Wizards is? If my power of deduction is correct, then... Who? Who of these people is Wizards? Tell me. Okay, we get the guess. Um, can we guess the wrong people first? That'll be funny. <laughs> it's me, I'm the wizard. It's Neneko. Well, I'm thinking logically anyway. It's not Ikida, it's not Neneko. It's not Alex, because Alex is on the same floor as us, so he wouldn't have, you know, would have heard uh, our voice through the line. Um, I'm trying to think. What was the first time we called Wizards? Or Wizards called us, anyway. I guess it was Riel, because Riel did say that she was trying to call us and everything, but we were busy, right? And at the time, she was talking to somebody else, but, well, I wasn't sure. It's not Aurora. I mean, assuming Aurora is just a fake girl that doesn't exist is in our heads, so that does not. Thomas is dead. Um, it just seems unlikely that it would be Akira and Giselle, though. I mean, but I don't know what I'm basing that on. It could be Jacob. Could be Abigail, but Abigail was kind of trying to, you know, break... Uh, Abigail was the one that tried to break, you know... Neniko's arm and then and put us on the surgery operation so you know why would she be so hostile towards us when she was trying to work with us in the first place as the secret character or whatever or like the distorted voice so my best guess is actually Vincent you know Vincent we haven't met for quite a while and he seemed you know he seemed mostly calm but he there was a mention that his eyes narrowed or like his eyes furrowed or something or twitched I think when he saw Mr. Raymond's dead body so maybe he wasn't expecting that but I'm not sure. But Vince is my best guess, I think. But he could also be the killer. I'm not sure. But anyway. Hmm. I'm just guessing. What happens if we choose like us? Hey, what about us? I put my own name. Huh? Why are you putting yourself? I didn't know you'd be stupid enough to call yourself wizards. It could be possible. My memory's been a mess ever since I've been hooked up with that machine. Or could wizards be a virtual entity? Huh? I guess it would have been possible for that phone call that I made to you when you were spying on us in the bath, but how would you explain this second call? I definitely heard the phone ring myself, so I honestly don't think Wizards could be a delusion of yours. But she's right. If Wizards is a delusion of mine, Neniko would have been able to hear the phone ring as well. Are you sure you're okay, Ikida? Take a rest and check yourself in the hospital as soon as we get back from the island, alright? Or I can ask Ryo to give you a shot of potassium chloride. That should perk you right up. Oh gosh, you're bad-mouthing me now. Or else I should just crawl into a hole and die. You idiot, I'm just worried about you. If wizards were someone else, who would they most likely be? Well, it's not you. Think again, and this time use your brain. Are you sure you cut off for this job? If the name came from Wither Hills, White Wine, could Jacob be wizards? But since Jacob has, has such eclectic, uh, eclectic tastes, it's unlikely he chose such a cheap wine as his call sign. That doesn't sound unreasonable, it's a likely theory. Why don't you ask him directly? You're right. I should try asking Jacob directly. Hm. Okay, well... I guess we're doing that. Um, I was also thinking, oh yeah, I remember. The first call was, again, another dumb fan service shower scene. But obviously, it couldn't have been Neniko and Akira because they were in a shower together, I guess. So, my guess would be definitely Vincent, Giselle, maybe Abigail. And that's it, I think. Maybe Riel? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I guess we're calling Jacob, though. So maybe either way, we end up calling Jacob, maybe? Not sure. Anyway. I call Jacob's room. You know, I just picked our own name, just as like, uh, you know, 
just for fun, basically. Well, strange, she doesn't pick up. Or he's just ignoring the phone. Perhaps he doesn't want to talk. Uh, I guess I'll have to go to Jacob's room. Want to come? Me? Of course I'm coming with you. I'm too afraid of being left alone again. Uh, wait, I'm not sure anymore. Should I stay or should I go? Make up your mind already. I'll come with you. Uh, no, I'll stay here after all. No way I'll come with you. Or maybe I won't. I can't decide. Suit yourself. <laughs> okay. Suit yourself. <laughs> hey, you're doing that again. You gotta be kidding me. Don't leave me. I don't have time to figure out what you want. Well, maybe I was being indecisive. I'm afraid of being alone, so I'll come with you. Eesh, you could have just said that in the first place. But yeah, maybe it doesn't matter either way. I mean, that would have been a guess as well, because Jacob, you know, the, the weird, like, wine brand connection. But it seems like a, you know, red herring, though. That would have been too easy, I feel like. Well, Jacob's room number is 203. Was the number room in the center right? He's definitely going to get upset. I don't think he'll admit it. Well, even if that's the case, I know what to do. In a couple of minutes, he'll be begging to talk. What horrible things are you talking about making false accusations against him? Jacob, I want to talk to you. Could you open the door? Hmm. No response. Do you leave this room? Hmm. The room doesn't appear to be locked. Eee! I have a bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling about this. We should be on our guard. Nedico, step back. Ah, there he is. Well, I guess he's dead. <laughs> I knew it, by the way. He did have a death flag, so... What, Jacob? Yeah. A clean cut to his carotid artery with a sharp object. He most likely die on the spot. Most of the blood stains are on his neck. Probably because he died before he could resist. Was he surprised or was he wary of whoever killed him? The blood flowing out of his carotid artery has not yet hardened. He's still warm, so he's only just been murdered. The wound on his neck was most likely made of a knife, which rules out that creature. It's probably the same person who killed Sir Raymond and Thomas. Judging from the handiwork and the modus operandi, the killer most likely, is most likely a professional. Jake was probably killed about 10 minutes ago, and the killer is probably still nearby. Perhaps with evidence of the murder on them. I can't take this anymore. Why is this, why does this keep happening? It's island. We shouldn't have come here. I should assemble everyone right now. But that means we might be together with whoever just killed Jacob. Getting everyone together in one place is much too dangerous. It's definitely dangerous. The killer is now behaving so brazenly they might even reveal their identity. If we assemble, they might attack all of us. If we leave the killer alone, we might become the next target. There's no time to waste. I'll be the, mo I'll be the most at risk. But if we as assemble in the same place on the second floor, I can keep an eye on everyone. Now this is what we tried to do before though, and then everyone left. Anyway, although I don't know who the killer is, this will keep them from killing again, for now. We should call Alex to come upstairs from the first floor. That would be safer for us than going all the way down there. Once we're all together, I should be able to figure out who the killer is. I guess you're right. I'll be careful, don't worry. If you say so, I believe in you, but... Alright, let's do this then. Nedico, stay behind me. If someone attacks you, escape immediately and run back to my room. Alright. Akira, it's me. Could you come outside? We need to talk. Huh? Oh, I was just, I was just about to go to your room. What's wrong? You have a terrible look on your face. Did something happen? Did you hear anything strange about 10 minutes ago? Hear anything strange? Did you ask me the same thing earlier? I didn't hear anything out of the usual. Have you and Giselle been together this whole time? No, we've been running around, so I haven't been together all the time. Why does this feel like interrogation? What's going on? Jacob has been murdered. What? Why are you telling me that he's been murdered? Oh, uh, yeah. When and where? About 10 minutes ago. I found him dead in his room. So let me ask you again. Were you and Giselle in this room 10 minutes ago? Uh, hang on. I have to collect my thoughts first. Um, I wasn't with Giselle because we were going back and forth between our rooms for luggage, but she couldn't have enough time to sneak into his room and kill him. Isn't that right, Giselle? The young lady and I were indeed separate rooms. For about 10 minutes, I say. Hmm. I look closely at the clothes Akira and Giselle are wearing. There are no traces of bloodstains on their hands or sleeves. Even if the killer is a professional, they will probably be bloodstains on their sleeves. Does that mean they're these two are innocent? But the only remaining suspects are Riel and Alex. Could one of them be the killer? Is the killer really one of us? If so, who is it? Or could the killer come from the outside of the mansion? What a predicament. So, Ikeda, you said you found Jacob's body. You're serious, right? How do we know that you didn't kill Jacob? Hey, I've been on the first floor this entire time. I don't have a motive to kill Jacob. Uh, perhaps someone hired you to kill all the people who have something to do with the island. 
He could, uh, might not be squeaky clean, but he would never do something like that. Neneko, you're here with Ikeda, so I can't really trust anything you say about him. Well, well. Looks like there's plenty of distrust going on around right now. You know, by the way, uh, fun fact, distrust was the original uh, name of Danganronpa, you know, in the beta version. It, it looked completely different. But anyway, just a random fact that came into my head. With Jacob dead, there are only six guests left. It's only natural that she would suspect me. I understand that you might suspect me, but please stay calm. If I were the killer, there'd be no reason for me to tell you about Jacob's murder. I asked the... You know, the gambit of just like killing someone and then and then pretending to be, you know, the one that discovered the body or something. I don't know. I mean, it might happen. Usually in, the, in mystery games, like in murder mysteries, that is usually not the case though. Because that'd be too easy, right? But uh, I found out there'd be no reason to tell him about Jacob's murder and I, was, uh, and I was trying to get everyone to assemble my room. Why should I do anything suspicious? I guess you're right. But if that's the case, who's the killer? If it wasn't just Cell, Ikeda, Neneko, and I, there are only two more of us. I'm going to investigate, so please be discreet. Please cooperate with me. I just want to keep you all safe. Alright, we'll cooperate. It was really dangerous. Alright, Akira, don't lock your door. I'm gonna call Ryo now. If anything happens, take Neneko into your room and then lock the door. Huh? Could it be her? Do you think she's the killer? I don't know yet. Right now, we're all suspects. Ryo, could you open the, your door? I'd like to have a word. Huh? Actually, I heard everything through my door. I've been in my room this whole time. I don't have any witnesses, so I don't know if I can convince you of that, though. I'm glad you got straight to the point. Do you remember hearing any noises outside? Um, I think I heard Akira's voice in the hallway once, but nothing else. I might not have heard much because of the sound of the wind blowing outside. I'm sorry. What are you saying? Ikira, don't let her fool you. She's trying to make me look suspicious. Calm down, Ik Akira. Ryo just said that she heard your voice in the hallway. She didn't say that you were the killer, did she? Although, I might be a suspect. Akira doesn't have alibi either, right? I didn't have time to kill him. The more I think about it, the more certain I, I am that it has to be you. The killer must have wanted us to quarrel with each other. Whoever killed him is not an amateur. The murder method was a professional assassination technique. They covered his mouth from behind and neatly severed his carotid, uh, carotid artery. If we don't stay calm, we won't stand a chance. In any case, we should gather in Akira's room. So, could you call Alex and ask him to come here? Coming to his room by himself should not be too dangerous. Yes, I will. Hmm, that's strange. What is it? I can't seem to connect to the phone in Mr. Werner's room. All I hear is a busy tone. What? That's strange. Do you think he was killed also? That's definitely possible. Or he could have been attacked by that monster. I should go and see. So, you want the four of us to stay together in a single room? Not knowing who the killer is. It's alright, just, just wait a few minutes. If Alex is safe, I'll come back immediately. All of you should stand in a corner, face the others, and raise your hands. If one of you lowers her hands, the other should try to constrain her. Okay. <laughs> Strange technique. And then that happened. And like, well... Anyway. I was, I, I, that probably happened in like a, a, a different like story or whatever. You know, everyone is like... Uh, afraid that they'll kill each other, you know, and they stand facing each other. I probably read that for like a manga or something. I don't remember exactly from what though. It just reminds me of a situation that happened, or rather I read before, but anyway. Uh, easy for you to say. Does that really work? I'll be back in just a few minutes. Considering the circumstances, the killer won't be reckless. Very well, we'll do as you say, but Ikeda, please come back as soon as possible. For real, since nobody knows who the killer is. Uh, please come back quickly. I've spoken to everyone on the second floor. That only leaves Alex. There's no time to waste. Alex, it's me. Are you alright? Open up! Well, what's this all of a sudden? You startled me. I was just about to leave my room. Are you alright? Your phone gave a busy signal. My phone? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. What's going on? Did something else happen? I'll tell you about it later. For now, just follow me. Okay. I'll do as you say, but could you tell me what's going on while we're walking? Fine. I'll give you the short version. Jacob has been murdered. We're all gathering in a single room. What? Jacob? The killer struck again. I came to get you because the phone in your room gave a busy signal. I was afraid that the killer had murdered you too. What? Don't say such scary things. Nothing strange has happened since you left. Well, <laughs> you say that and then... Ah! Blackout. This is bad. We have to go to the room on the second floor right away. Go to the room, you say. It's pitch black and I can't see anything. Don't touch me there. 
What are you talking about? The lights went back on. Huh? Oh, it was just a wall. Silly me. Okay. Hey, uh, like I have no time to fool around. Let's head upstairs. Uh, you came back from a break, then he went die. Well, you just have gonna have to find out by watching. No, um... Well, I'll just say, I mean, Jacob died, basically. Uh, I mean, you just said, or just now, right? It was just... Anyway, I guess you missed that. Anyway, what's that sound? Gunfire? Darn, Neneko. The hallway looks the same as it did before, but I'm certain that something has happened. I have a very bad feeling about this. Just stay safe. Neneko. Well, okay. I mean, she's holding a knife. And Akira and Giselle are dead? Aw, oh, man. I like Giselle. You know, Giselle is kind of cool. I kind of liked her. But now she's dead. Damn it. I assume it's Giselle. I know it's the, the black sleeve. But where's a, where's a Riel? Or is it the other way around? Or anyway, let's, let's see. Neneko. No, it wasn't me. Ikeda, help. What the hell is going on? What happened? What was that gunshot just now? I can see Akira and Giselle covered in blood. Neneko is holding a knife. Real, where is she? Neneko, what the hell happened here? The lights suddenly went off. I heard the sound of something moving and then some gunshots, but, but before I knew what happened, I had a knife in my hand. But I didn't do this. Help me, Ikida. It's alright. Just give me the knife. Darn, no way. It's all the killer's work. I suddenly hear something moving quickly in the dark. A lukewarm liquid trickles down my back. A soft groan echoes in the dark. Before I realize what's going on, I feel a sharp sting in my side. Seconds later, the pain hits. The world goes dark before my eyes. I try to fight back, but my punches only hit air. The shadow thrusts his knife at me again. I collapse onto the floor. I try to protect myself from the knife lunging at me. I feel the shark. The shark? No, that, that's something else. I feel the shock of a sharp blade piercing into my chest. I violently spew out blood. The shadow repeatedly stabs me over and over. Ikeda, Ikeda! I think I can hear Nik Neneko's cry from far away. I mean, she was the only one with a knife though, but... Uh, darn, guess I was wrong. My reasoning was wrong from the get-go. Even now, it's too late. I finally realize who the killer is. I think of Neneko as my life drains from my body. Okay, there you go. Uh, I assume that's a bad ending. Um, it just kind of goes back here, though. Technically, I guess, yeah, since we are not in a simulation, we don't get like a restart, uh, like a soft restart anymore. We just get like a full restart, I guess. It doesn't say like a bad ending or anything. It just kind of just resets us. There you go. I assume that happened because uh, we didn't choose the right suspect from the suspect list. So next, next time I do have to make sure I pick the right one. I have to think about it though. I'm actually not sure who would be wizards then. I mean, I can narrow it down and then maybe brute force from there, but I don't like the brute force, right? But I have to think about it. Anyway, I assume by going back to when we were figuring out who wizard is, if we pick the right person, then we won't get killed uh, this time. Because I guess we have to figure that out before we, uh, you know, figure out who the killer is because otherwise I guess the killer just literally murders everybody mm. oh well <laughs> anyway I guess we'll see